Seth Walsh, a 13-year-old from Teachapi, California, took his own life because of bullying at his school that went unaddressed. Cyberbullying, using the internet or cell phones to threaten, spread rumors, or post doctored photographs. According to recent studies, this kind of bullying is on the rise. By it one has happened again. There are reports this morning that a 16-year-old student in Washington State killed himself after being bullied and harassed by students. It is the latest tragedy involving bullying. Hello, my name is Jonathan Harris, student member on the Board of Education. I want to talk to you about a very important issue today that not only affects Prince George's County, but the nation. That issue is bullying. Half of all American high school students claim to have been bullied in the past year, and the other half admit to being bulliers. And it gets no better in elementary school, where fully 90% of third to sixth graders have been victims of bullying, and 60% own up to doing it. It seems that one kid picking on another has always been part of the growing up process here in America. Intimidating someone who is smaller or weaker or more vulnerable than you is often dismissed as kids just being kids. But that bullying is far from benign, and in fact, is now crueler than ever before. For as children are being harassed physically and emotionally, both in person and now online using social networks, the consequences are staggering. From fear of attending school and weight loss, to depression, violent retribution, and even suicide, today's bullied students often feel helpless and lost. So what then can a bully student do? Where can he turn? Standing up to a bully is often not an option if the victimizer is more powerful or part of a larger group. And telling on him or her often turns out to just make things worse. But here in Prince George's County, telling is exactly what you should do. With zero tolerance for bullying, that means no bullying in any way, shape, or form at any time. Prince George's County Public Schools asks that anyone who is being harassed should immediately report it to a parent, a teacher, or other school authority or trusted adult. Victims can be assured that a rigorous investigation will take place and that protection of the victim is guaranteed. There are bullying posters and report forms in every school in both English and Spanish and online at the school system's website, pgcps.org. Need more information? Go to bullyinginfo.org or call the Office of Student Engagement at 301-567-5702. That's 301-567-5702. Remember, you don't have to take it anymore. Let's stop bullying now before it can hurt anyone else. Bullying is not a harmless rite of passage for youngsters, but a serious wrong that can cripple a young life forever.